Ipoh, the capital of the state of Perak, is the fourth largest city in Malaysia with a population of approximately 800,000 people. Ipoh was well known as a tin mine town in the early 20th century. Today, it is Perak's center of administration, education, business, industry, transportation, and living. The city's jurisdiction coverage of 643 square kilometers include Chemo, Jelapang, Falim, Menglembu, Tanjung Rambutan, Silibin, Manjoy, Simpang Pulai, Berkem, Tambun, Gunung Rapat, Sungai Rokam, Pasir Putih, Lahat, and Pangkalan. The city is governed by the Ipoh City Council Local Authority under the Malaysian administrative system. Certainly, Ipoh is now one of the fastest growing city undergoing rapid urbanization in line with the process of modernization in Malaysia. Sungai Kinta and Sungai Pinji are the two main rivers that make up the irrigation system around the city of Ipoh, contributing greatly to the socio-economic development of the city, particularly in the early 20th century. Modernization, urbanization and population growth has changed the significance of the rivers from being centred around the mining industry to one that receives all kinds of waste from both domestic and industrial effluents resulting in a highly polluted irrigation channel. The high levels of pollution in the rivers have caused the environmental issues that require immediate attention. These include the death of the river's aquatic habitants, loss of precious surface water, waterborne disease, odour and flash floods. Under Rantangan Malaysia Kesepulo, the Government of Malaysia, through its agency Jabatan Perkhidmatan Pembentungan, has started to implement a regional sewerage system that includes a regional sewerage treatment plant and piping network to improve the quality of Ipoh's surrounding environment. The Papan CSTP is designed to cater for 1.5 million PE in the year of 2045, covering an area of approximately 195 square kilometers, which is subdivided into three main sub catchments, namely Ipoh City Centre, Gunung Rapat, and Menglembu. The project will also rationalize the existing public and private sewage treatment plants as well as existing pumping stations within the project boundary. The project has been named Logi Rawatan Kumbahan Serantau dan Rangkaian Pipe Pembentungan di Papan Daerah Kinta Pera, Package 1, which will construct a new regional sewerage conveyance system consisting a comprehensive network of piping and pumping stations to serve the entire Ipoh city centre and selected portions of the Gunung Rapat and Menglembu catchment areas. The Papan Regional Plant, together with other catchment areas in Gunung Rapat and Menglembu, will be implemented under separate packages by the Malaysian government. Jabatan Perkhidmatan Pembentungan under Kementerian Tenaga, Teknologi Hijau dan Air, who is the client of the project, has awarded the contract to Mangku Bumi Sendirian Berhad under design and build basis. While ZAC Engineering Service Sendirian Berhad and JB Consult Sendirian Berhad are the CNS and m and &E Design Consultant and Quantity Surveying Consultant for the project. The project will take 48 months. It started on November 11, 2015 and is scheduled to be completed in November 10, 2019. Two earlier handing over sections of a 2.1 meter diameter main trunk and pipe crossings at KTM railway tracks and Sungai Kinta are to be completed within the first 36 months of the contract period. The scope of work will include the laying of a sewer trunk network of 82 kilometers, pipe crossings at the KTM railway and Sungai Kinta, the construction of five units network pump station NPS at the designated area and the decommissioning and demolition of 50 public STPs on federal and state lands. 
six public STPs at alienated lands, 76 private sewage treatment plants and CST at various government premises, and 70 network pump station rationalization for the entire Ipoh city center. For effective execution, the implementation of the project is divided into six zones, which are Zone 1 Zone 2 Zone 3A Zone 3B Zone 3C and Zone 3D The technology and method of construction involved in the process includes Pit construction Open cut pipe laying Pipe jacking Manhole construction Network pumping, station construction Traffic management Upon completion of the project, it will greatly improve the environmental quality of Ipoh City, particularly by significantly and enormously reducing the raw sewage pollution into the rivers, thus reducing or eliminating odour, toxic and waterborne diseases in the rivers. This in turn will revitalise the river life and save the precious surface water. In addition, the closing of multi-point STPs will also remove the odor points in the city areas and offer more green places besides a more effective and economic operation and maintenance of the sewerage system could be another big benefit to the government and country.